harvested at the West Avenue, and a lot of them either went extinct or went close to extinction. So snowy egrets were uh, part of this uh, group of species that actually started almost going extinct. They're making a big rebound now in the migratory bird community act. Um, but basically, we wanted these feathers, these pretty feathers in our feather heads. So a lot of these birds actually were um, harvested from them. But you also notice they have like a, a black leg, but they have yellow feet, yellow toes. That's actually a unique adaptation for when they're actually standing in the water, like most humans do. Uh, the fish will actually see those yellow toes, and they'll think that they are worms. So the fish will come to get hold of their feet, and that's when they grab it. It's a very, very unique adaptation. So this one we're going to ask, so this right here is called a gold-breasted starling. That's how that really deep yellow gold chest. Uh, we also have some other starlings. You'll see them up on this line. Uh, they have a more brown, brownish chest. Those are called superb starlings. So we have those two species of starlings. There's a, a handful of them up here as well. Some other birds we have are the uh, white-crested laughing thrush, which is that brown one with the white chest and head that's hopping around. There are three of those in this room. They get that name because they actually make a lot of noise and it actually sounds like laughter. White-crested laughing thrushes. So other birds we have, we have a marble teal heel here on the ground, and we also have a spotted whistling duck. So this bird duck is on the railing. They don't actually quack, they just whistle. So oftentimes you'll hear the whistling. So this bird here is called a southern bald ibis. Her name is Sigourney. Um, so a typical bald ibis has a longer bill, like that one in this landlord over there. Notice how it's much longer than Sigourney's. Uh, so she actually broke hers when she was younger, and they don't fully grow back. It's healed over, she's not in any pain. She just struggles a little bit to pick up worms off the ground, so I usually hand feed her. Did you see the one right below you? Yeah. Those look like parrots. Uh, but Southern Ball, I wish you guys noticed that they have bald heads. They're not actually vultures, though, but they do have bald heads for a similar reason. They eat a lot of dead things they carry, and when they do that, think about it, when you eat dead things a lot, most, the best parts are usually inside, and that's actually when you get your head all dirty and all messy. Well, if you have a lot of feathers on your